Yeah, you just guessed right. We're gonna do the e-boards from Rough Country. After doing my research, I was between a bunch of stuff. The hell cares? I went to Rough Country. I didn't have any issue with any Rough Country products before, and I had a couple. My lift kit, light bars, and so on and so forth. Never had an issue. I hope it's the same with this e-board. The first challenge we have is where we're gonna do it. You guys know my garage. No, it's small, but it's a standard two car garage. How are we gonna do this? As you can see, it's dark. It's the time I have to get this done and it's winter. So my, and my dog is hunting. So that's what he does. I'll try to get done as fast as I can because I also need the truck running, right? Uh, the first step is removing those two, they call articulating boards. Got it. <laughs> so let's try to figure out this piece. I would suggest you to get a drink, sit back, relax, and enjoy because this is gonna be a long one. I'm gonna give you a warning what? because it's probably gonna be a long one for me to install. So I don't wanna cut anything because if you wanna do that with your truck, I want to show you everything and I'm gonna show you also the details. And also I'm gonna show the comparison between this running board with the other on running boards available in the market. What? and why I chose this one. And I hope I got this installed right and done. It's just time consuming. And I'm gonna share exactly what you need and how many hours you need and if you should be able to do it yourself or not. Although I'm not the best guy to do because I'm not professional by any means. You got that boy. But I also, I'm not the kind of guy that give up. If you're that kind of guy, this video is for you. <laughs> the first time I thought about this since I put the garage together which was moving my uh, toolbox because it has casters on so I can move from here to there so what I did I tuck in the Corvette as much as I could I could even do more, a little bit more but I, if I need that um, it'd be good to have which I might be that might give me idea how to do things in the future maybe that's what I'm gonna do going forward but just for now, so I have more space between the two sides. Maybe I can put the truck a little bit on the side. So let's give it that a try. It's pretty cold outside, like 44 degrees. Uh, but the goal is to at least tonight get the, the boards out. The stock one, because they're pretty heavy. They are really messy to deal with. <coughs> so let's, let's give it a try. Let's see how much I can handle the cold. Look at the size of this thing. It's so heavy, so heavy. So far, the setup in the garage has worked. This one was the one, it's broke. So you see how, you know, I have to maneuver. But now, same process for the other one. the cold start to kick it in. So those parts are here. I'll probably try to sell to recoup some money. The cold 
Weather started to kick in. I'll catch you guys tomorrow with the new stall. <laughs> so, nice day. What? Like 55 degrees, but so rainy. I was hoping to do it outside, but I think we can keep working inside. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna clean it up everything. The rockers are pretty nasty, so while there's nothing there, it's the best time to clean. That's what I'm gonna do now. Wish me luck. That's what it comes with the kit, right? Here are the instructions. Uh, I hope that's very helpful. This, it's called valet mode, which is a switch that you put it somewhere inside the truck. So when every one of the steps to be all, uh, always down, you just press. We're gonna install that. Of course, you have the wire harness, which is massive. Uh, the LED lights for uh, one for each door and the motors itself. The boards are inside, so I'll show you here in a while. The motors are marked, which one? You see rear left, front left, and so on and so forth. So you have hardware, a uh, lot of zip ties, uh, more hardware. Those are the magnets that trigger the door, right? So as you can see, it comes with the tape and that connects to the harness uh, that goes inside of the cab. And this is the module that activate the steps. The module stays on the passenger side because the battery on Silverados are on the passenger side so if you put the harness here the module is right there and then you can just cross for the two motors on the uh, driver's side this module goes to the driver to the passenger side always right stop it get some help this is gonna be my plan of attack right i'm gonna look at the instructions uh, but i watch and put a bunch of videos already to see what people struggle with what I'm trying to not struggle with. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna feed the, the motors first and let them hang because then I know exactly how I need to do the wiring. And then I'll do the wiring. As you can see, the wiring is also labeled. So it should be pretty clean. And then we're gonna put everything underneath of the truck, drill a hole underneath of the cab, put this inside, and then start putting our triggers on the door. The last thing we're gonna do is gonna put the board on because we need to make sure that this works, right? So a lot of work, but I think if we take step by step, this is doable. Uh, the instructions should be fairly good. Let's attack. happens you gotta put the bolt here but there's no much clearance so you gotta be you gotta be patient because otherwise you're gonna mess up with the treads ah! Got it! The motors are in right and uh as you can see it's it's not all the way there because you need to maneuver so that's what i'm gonna do now we're gonna do the control module right the control module uh, it's basically what it is the brain of the entire system. The structure is not great though. So they say to put right next to the passenger side. So this is going to be sitting somewhere like this. Okay. So I see one bolt goes there and the other goes on the top. Right. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I know the harness looks like messy. You can do it! But the labels that make everything easy. So if you know Japanese, then you can do that too. <laughs> Front left and rear left. So that's on this side, this side of the truck. Same for here, right? Front, right, rear, right. So this is on this side of the truck. This is the, we're gonna connect to the module that I just installed it. This white and well, 
is the trigger so this is going inside of the cab which we're gonna do att attack it right now and this is going through the battery so very straightforward super easy so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start to remove the interior so we can uh start work uh, on fitting this underneath of the truck from to the cab and pull the panels out because we need to put the panels out so far uh not hard at all it's just time consuming to fit those bolts underneath of the motor <laughs> yeah boy that's why i left you know loose a little bit but so far uh just patient takes time and if i had a lift it would be so much easier for sure but i don't have it so it is what it is let's attack the interior and we sh let's keep moving forward <laughs> This panel uh, and when you pull the carpet there's a it's like a plug but you gotta drill through it Damn! I know I know it's really in your truck ah! but hey it is what it is <laughs> harness it's in and I'm gonna put some silicone so don't worry about it and now I'm gonna just spread the entire harness where they should be, do the connections. We just put it on, should just go there, right? And then we start spreading across the truck and so on and so forth, right? <laughs> That's why I don't like it. Mud flaps. Look at that. This tape is ridiculous. The amount of dust, debris, salt it's in here, it's even worse. That's why I'm against mud flaps and fender flares. Because they just accumulate more stuff that you don't need. Why you need mud flaps is just clean your truck regularly. And that should be this right so as far as harness you have to pull this liner so you see the harness comes here and comes here so this goes to the battery to the battery to the module to the module to the uh and of course inside the cab which now is the most important part of the job because that's what it requires a lot of work so what i'm gonna do <laughs> i'm using like my old antenna as the guide, so I put some tape. The white and the black goes to the other side. The brown remains on this side, right? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to fish over there, and then we're gonna start stalling that side first, and then we're gonna do this one. As you can see so i'm trying to be uh as clean as possible it's dark already so the days go super fast as you can see i remove all the panels and you have to do this you have no choice you have to do this this is the difference between doing the ample research and this right and here what are we gonna do i will explain and you're gonna see like uh i'm doing right so this is the magnet that goes on the door this goes like this right or here whatever you want to do 
So there are two, one from the front door and one for the back door. So basically, this connection goes to that wire and runs through here and we're gonna attach to the door right there. And the other piece, small piece is going to this door. So every time the magnets touch each other should trigger the steps, right? Valet mode switch is over there. So far it looks clean, looks nice, but let's see how that goes. Yeah, unfortunately, you have to do this. There's no way around this. And uh, it's pretty simple though. If you have like a plastic tube, you just pop. So those, those clamps will go off and then you're good to go, right? I'm gonna work on this and uh, I hope it works. So same concept for the other side. Here we go. Just before we go, one thing that I missed no, I mean, I just wrong and I want to give you guys a warning. The white wire, you cannot pull over there, right? You got to pull the carpet and bring this down here because the carp the, the wire is just too short to go over. Like that's, that's about what, how much we need, right? So don't do that. Don't put over like, you know, uh, crossing the OBD, just straight look. That's what it coming off. So the carpet's gonna cover anyway. I'm just not gonna cover now because I'm gonna vacuum here because it's super nice. So since I'm here, no, since you were there. So, uh, all right. So that's, then you have enough wire for both. This side is done so as you can see I did the ground one ground for myself because I don't know I don't want to attach to anything that's already there and getting trouble as far as code goes you know how those trucks are so I just put a ground there myself here's the magnetic that triggers the door right so I ran the wire over there right coming here and I put it through the weather strip and you can pull back right and I put the the, ma the magnet here, and you see that little one there? What I did, I put it in there, because it's magnet, right? So I put it in there, took the tape off. I think you can see, you, you could see on the on the footage. So I took, I, I took the tape off, and I leave there, because you gotta, it has to be precise. So otherwise it's not gonna trigger the, the steps. So I clean this side and I close the door. So when I open the, the tape, took this magnet where it should be. They are perfectly aligned. If I close the door, it should be aligned. You barely can see it's there. So the weather strip is super nice. I hook up the battery because I want to make sure that this side work, this side works. If this side works, then we're going to repeat the process to the other side and then it's just a matter of put everything back together and 
we should be good to go. So, oh my god! So let me hook up the battery. It's very simple. I'm not gonna show you that. It's negative to negative, positive to positive. Does it get any simple there, right? Bro, what are you talking about, man? So I just don't wanna be hanging there and show you guys. So I'll show you guys the final result, how I hook up the battery, because I wanna test it. Because if it doesn't work, then it's a problem with the wire. I don't wanna put everything back together before tested. And you should do the same. They work, boys, they work. Look at that. Open the door. Steps comes down. Close the door. They retract. Same for here. Beautiful. All right, so now I'm sure the battery because I promise you, but there's no secret in and out. So positive, negative. So that's it. So you can tuck right there. There's a cover. It goes here, put the cover on, boom, 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 that's it. Put this one on, Jeff has a, this thing going on. So I'm gonna repeat the process for this side and we should be good, right? So time lapse for you, I hope you enjoy. The light's pretty straightforward, goes like this, right? And whenever the lights, uh, the door is open, uh, triggers the light. And you attach to that connection right there. So one for one. Yo, what do you want, dude? What do you want, huh? So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do now. And then if everything works, then we're gonna put the boards on. And the last thing I'm gonna do is giving my dog, giving my dog something to eat. No, I'm kidding. The last thing that we're gonna do is tie everything up, like putting, you know, uh, zip ties and everything else, right? Dude, listen, I gotta finish this, right? So you let you need to let me finish this, right? You're gonna let me finish this? Okay, let's do it. <laughs> before putting the interior back, right? They send you this uh, Allen bow with uh, Loctite already in it. Those, you see, attached to this Allen and on this tab, all right? That's what I'm gonna do basically now. Try to line them up, them up as much as I can. Bada ba boom pow. Oh! The boards work, lights work, everything works. Let me show you this side because then there's more light. But I think this, everything works. So responsive. So nice. Now, let me put everything back together and then I'll get back to you guys because I have an entire interior to put back together, right? Let's do it. All right, I'm all done. Everything is back together. 
Uh, one thing I just want to show you guys that I want to say is I torque everything to specs. The specs are on the manual or the instructions. So it's there. So it's working. But, uh, you know, the interior is back on. But I want to show you guys in a better lighting. Now it's late at night. As you can see, <laughs> I left a mess in my garage. So I'm going to clean up, put the truck outside. Uh, and when we have light, I'll do the proper review. <laughs> day finally in december so uh yeah man this thing so just a disclaimer right i have been using this for like a week or so since i finished that video so i, ca I kind of have a better idea what she's talking about but so far it's working beautiful look works no problem at all both doors everything works uh, i know you guys are interested on the the magnets you barely can see i mean you can see, but this one you can barely can see, and this one as well. Super tuck in, and it works so responsive. Look at how fast it is. And when you open, that's how fast it is. Let's say for some reason something got stuck here, and that's not going up. So there's no chance for you to hurt yourself. Uh, so if you open it again, and close, and remember the uh, valet mode that I got. So if you press the the steps retract, and it's not coming up if you open the door. So if for some reason you need that to be up all the time, you just hit that button and that's it. So far, working pretty good, pretty well. Same for the other side, nothing changed. Same. The LEDs are very bright at night. It's because like now it's like two o'clock, but it's super bright at night. And I love how this thing doesn't look like you have a step. Look at that. Doesn't even look like you have something there. And if you guys notice, I removed the mud flaps. I think gave the truck such a more a nicer look. This truck start to looking like my truck. You know what I'm saying? It's small stuff, but, and as you can see, it's like, it's wet because I, I have been washing, not washing, but just taking the salt out of it. it. This is one thing you have to do because if you live in a place like I live, like New Jersey, where the salt gets crazy, you really got to take care of those things, right? So, because as you can see, the motor can get salt on it and be stuck in there. All right. So, so far I'm loving it. I think it was worth every single penny that i spend on this uh as far as installation goes everybody told me the installation would be awful not sure if i was used to do like you know put the interior apart because i did that on my colorado so many times but if i combine all the hours that i did i stole in four hours and a half if i consider that i had to take that off the older ones let's call five hours uh, but i took my time i was recording if you were not recording, you probably can do that faster. A lot of people told me this would be a horrible installation. And I have to disagree, it was not hard at all. As long as you feel a little handy, you should be able to do. Uh, I was very afraid because all the reviews that I saw, but not at all. I would give yourself like five to six hours just so you don't rush, you don't make mistakes. But it's super straightforward. Uh, of course, you should truck has your own challenge, like Silverados are probably not like the Rams, not like the F-150s, especially inside, but it's very doable. The other thing that I promised that I would talk about is why I chose this one over the Amp Research, right? And it's very simple. They are a thousand dollars apart. And as far as I can see, I, I think I made the right decision. The main difference between the Amp Research, and I'm not gonna talk about how long this is gonna last, or how durable it is because I just stole it, right? But as far as I could do my research is AMP research doesn't trigger the doors with the magnets, it triggers the door with the 
truck computer, which is attached to the OBD port, right? So that's the main difference of why this is why a lot of people don't go with rough country because they're magnets. But I'm telling you, saving $800, $900 was worth the effort to put the magnets on, right? If you have the money capacity, I would say go for it. Go for the AMP research. As far as quality goes, man, those motors, uh, of course, the camera is never going to tell or show you that. It's such a good quality. I mean, for the Ampere Research to be a thousand dollars more, has to be double of the better quality than this is, and I, I don't think it is. Uh, again, I'm not talking about the long term. I, I have this for like a week and a half. So, but I, I don't think the thousand dollars difference justify the quality on the amp research okay i might be wrong but i just give you my opinion i think this was a mix a good mix of good financial decision and a lot of uh, what i wanted right uh, I, I just wanted the way you don't see on the truck like you can barely see there's a step there you have the lights you have the retractable uh boards and it's so light so i think i accomplished everything if the magnets bother you on the door, it doesn't bother me. I think you can save a thousand bucks, right? <laughs> but let me know in the comments below what do you think, if this was the right choice. This is not a paid product. I pay in full from Rough Country. Uh, unfortunately, they didn't sponsor me, but I think it's a, just a good way to get what you wanted and also save the money, right? I hope you guys enjoy. Let me know what do you think in the comments below and I'm catching you guys the next one because next one we're gonna attack the bed. I'm bringing some Colorado features back on this truck and I can't wait. I'll see you guys next one. Never forget, enjoy your life and work hard for it.